Hey guys, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I'm Notorious Rhino. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today's episode, we are going to see how the best way to progress in this game is. Check out uh, sort of some of the perk system and see what the best early perks are. I have another video I created about the best way to make money. It's sort of like a exploit. Um, I mean, it's in the game, so it's not exactly an exploit or a cheat, but... It sort of kind of is. Um, it helps you gain pretty much free money um, early on in the game to help you get to the other things I'm going to show you in this video. So go check that out. Uh, let's see. All right, and we're back. Technical difficulties. Anyway, as I was saying, um, so basically what we want to do is, so I'm currently level 22. Um, what you will want to do is perform the sort of exploit shady business side of car mechanic simulator first uh, in my other video and once you do that enough times you can basically earn infinite amount of money once you earn pretty much I would say anywhere from 10 to 20 thousand credits doing that um, you'll want to go to the junkyard so I'm gonna go I'm gonna at least go ahead and simulate you know some good ideas for the junkyard that you can uh, some good vehicles you can look for so we're gonna go to the junkyard And basically, once we're at the junkyard, you want to pretty much buy the, I would say, the biggest heap of crap that you can find. Because when it's all said and done, you're, you're still going to make a profit. You're still going to make money. By far, flipping vehicles is the best way to make money in the game. So we go over here and somewhere. So here we go. A Bolt Atlanta for 6000 so I'm going to say, without even examining the, examining this vehicle, that we're going to go ahead and buy this vehicle. The Bolt Atlanta for 6931 and we're going to send it to the garage. Let's go see if we have any other vehicles that we can potentially purchase. Uh, let's see. I kind of wish this game would allow you to utilize the uh, junkyard aspect of the game. Like maybe you could even own a junkyard and control the junkyard part of junkyard part of it uh, bolt cape so 11,000 I'm not really liking that usually I'm, I'm gonna stick around anywhere between you know 5,000 and 10,000 maybe uh, let's see what's the other vehicle in this area oh it's not that let's see what we have here well, I know there has to be another one somewhere. Well, anyway, for the purposes of, purposes of the video, we'll just go ahead and skip ahead. So I, got, I bought a Bolt Atlanta for 6900 and some. So we'll go ahead and return to the garage. And the first thing you automatically want to do, um, and I, I may have skipped ahead a little bit, the first thing you want to do with this Bolt Cape is just give it a, just give it a wash is all you, is all you got to do. So go to the car wash, and all these little upgrades that I have here, um, basically you can unlock with my other video uh, of how to get money early game, like a cheat exploit type of deal. It's not really a cheat, but sort of kind of is. Anyway, so like the dyno, the car wash, the paint shop, all this stuff you can get with... Uh, it's pretty much unlimited money in my other video I made a couple of days ago. So go check that out. Um, anyway, so we'll go ahead and give this a... So let's just say that I were to sell this vehicle right now. I'm taking a 65 uh, credit profit hit right now. We Go ahead and give it a wash on the outside and the inside. If it'll let me. There we go. And on the inside... And, uh, let's see, we're already making a 1,542 credit profit on this vehicle just by washing it, which is pretty amazing. So, I mean, you could literally just sell this vehicle right now, make some money, do it over again, do it over again, you know, buy really cheap vehicles. But we're going to take it a step further. So if you do the little exploit or uh, trick that I showed in my other video, uh, you'll probably have a decent chunk of money by now already. 
and you probably can go ahead and get a like a welder and um, the repair benches and all of that um, if not you know just go ahead and do this a few times make some extra money on top of the money uh, quote unquote exploit that I mentioned in my other video and you'll have enough money to uh, repair everything so that's what we're gonna do um, I will go ahead and move this to car lift a and just for example so it has all the wheels um, they're in horrible condition and the body is in horrible condition so what we're gonna do is um, let's see so 1542 so we're gonna go ahead and use the welder uh, use and you gotta pay 500 credits for that and that'll get all the rust off of the um, the parts that aren't repairable I'm actually not so there we go look at that if you have the welder you can automatically get another boost of 3154 uh, credits and you could just sell it like this if you wanted without repairing anything and that's a pretty good chunk of money in your pocket <coughs> excuse me so we're gonna hit and move this back um, if I were you, uh, my first options would definitely be to, um, on your upgrade tree, uh, which takes the skill points as you level up, uh, and you can actually reset these later on if you need to, uh, when you have a good chunk of money. I would definitely go for this tree first, 100%, uh, the renovator repair options, because you do this right here, um, you burn a little bit of credits as you repair, but you're going to gain more in the end. So... I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to show everything on this. I'm going to show a little bit. But I'm going to take off some of the parts here. Let me see. I'm not even going to worry about the tires. Uh, bam, bam, bam. And it's missing seats on the inside. So you go over here and you go to interior and... What did that say again? Interior and additional parts. You can go to interior symbol and you click X on the seats to add those to the shopping cart and the steering wheel. And we'll go ahead and take out the steering wheel. We're gonna do very minimal things on this vehicle. I'm not even gonna worry about the headlights either. So you'll go over to the repair table for the body. We're gonna repair just a few of these pieces that can be repaired. You know, there's like 42 credits here, a few other credits there that you burn. But all in all, you're gonna gain money in the end. So, let's put on the right fender, the door, it's missing a hood. Um, that is unrepairable because it's below 15%. What else was I missing? Was it the bumper? I thought there was one more thing. If not, um, we're not going to worry about it. I'm just going to throw these back on. That may add a little bit of value. Uh, let's see. And look away to get out of the menu. So there's 3,423 just with repairing the parts myself. Um, so just think, you go to the you go to the um, junkyard, you buy something for you know between five and ten grand. You're still gonna make a, a profit on that, and that's usually just valued at you know what parts are in it, what's left on it, things like that. So I'm already making three thousand four hundred twenty-three. So we're gonna go ahead and sell this bad boy. And again, it's not gonna do a huge amount for me because I already have almost five hundred thousand credits. But you see the idea. Um, I think that's the best progression system. Use my tactic that I had in my other video. Uh, get as much money, really, as you want for free, basically. I, I need I remind you that that's a, it's a very good tactic, uh, early game, free money. Uh, so go check that video out. And uh, you just save up as much as you want. You go to the toolbox, you get your perks. Uh, you come over here and you use your credits on all of these. I would say that the tablet is super handy, so I would get that first. Um... This right here is an easy, quick way to check and make sure you have everything right on your engine. Uh, if this pops up, then your engine's good to go pretty much. Uh, maybe other than oil, I'm not sure. Either way, you have all your parts on, so that's a pretty handy one. Uh, these are handy for experience points. Um, this and the electronic multimeter. Uh, let's see. The brake lathe is pretty handy when you're uh, repairing a like 100% car. When you're going to do 100%, you just take the, the brake pads off if they're above 15%. And uh, you have the, you're able to repair them. Uh, workbench, that is one of the top priorities, I would think. Uh, workbench, and the, the welder is pretty nice. It's a lot of money, but again, with the free money tactic I, I showed in the last video, in the other video, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, charge is handy, but not super necessary in the beginning. 
and the body repair station is a pretty big one but other than that I mean we pretty much made almost four grand for pretty much nothing um, which technically speaking is better than my other tip but when you start out with pretty much no money uh, my other video can be a a big help in the beginning and a big boost but flipping vehicles is by far the best way to to make money and you don't even have to do the whole thing I mean just a little bit the body work the interior I didn't I didn't even I took the steering wheel off and I probably, now I just now remember that I probably could have made a little bit more money because I didn't repair the or replace the interior parts but anyway um, I think that's the best progression system once you get a good chunk of money you know money doesn't really matter as long as you keep a decent stockpile um, you can flip cars and you know have fun with it go to the barns um, I'm still looking for the ever elusive Lambo <laughs> I haven't found that yet I found a GTR two GTRs actually um, upon making this video I'm actually gonna be posting another video um, which may or may not come out before or after this video I'm not sure about a uh, the good old golden glory it's a different type of GTR so check that out but um, another quick tip uh, you go to the you go to the not the test track uh, let me let me get a vehicle out of my parking area real quick I think I'm gonna do a pretty sweet SUV build on this because you can swap the engine for a bad a engine <laughs> So I might do another build with that too. But if you take this, you can go to the test path, and if the vehicle is not working or something, you can go over here, and it'll sometimes it's a good hint of what, about what could be missing. Like if you're missing a clip, clip A, clip B on the ignition distributor, um, you come over here to the test path, and obviously there's no oil in the engine right now. But it'll give you a good idea about what you're missing. It'll tell you sometimes like you're missing clip B, and then oh hey I gotta go rep replace clip B if you can't find it while you're building basically. Um, so yeah, I think that pretty much sums up the, you know, kind of tips and tricks and progression of the early stages of the game. Um, uh, I would like to hear uh, your feedback about the, uh, the game and how much you're liking it and all that, so please let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, I am Notorious Rhino. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.